The soup kitchen of Greater Wheeling is not allowing anyone into the building without a V on their lanyard. 7 News reporter Stephanie Grindley joins us live in the newsroom after seeing how lunch now works for the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. Stephanie. Steve Wheeling's soup kitchen has already helped 300 people get vaccinated. The staff at the kitchen would drive homeless to the Highlands to get their shots, but now they are offering it right on site. To enter the dining hall, you must show proof of vaccination. However, the kitchen is still giving out to-go meals to anyone who is unvaccinated. The executive director hopes this will encourage more patrons who show up to the kitchen's door for meals to get the COVID shot that is being administered right on site. That's my vaccination card that when people come in, they show proof of um, vaccination. We've vaccinated here less than 20, but I have a feeling in the next couple of weeks we're going to be doing quite a few. Because of the non-admittance into the building. Right, because of non-admittance into the building. The staff all got COVID last October, and it was one of the la worst two weeks of our lives, and we all agreed on that. And because we've lived through it, um, we know how horrible of a disease it is, and if we can do something about it, we're trying our hardest. But we understand that people do have their their own right to their opinions, and we respect them and make sure they still get food. Wheeling Health Right comes every other Wednesday to give out vaccinations, and the Kroger Pharmacy and Warwood also dishes out the doses. They respect exemptions in our making sure no one goes hungry, vaccinated or not. Live in the 7 Newsroom, I am Stephanie Grinley, working for you.